Good evening, I'm Destiny Patterson. Thanks for watching our weekend edition of KSLA News 12. Let's get you caught up. The Caddo Coroner's Office has identified the victim in the parish's 17th homicide. 32 year old Darnell Jackson was shot several times at a home in the 4700 block of Bernstein Avenue early this morning. He was sent to a local hospital where he later died and that shooting remains under investigation. Sabine Parish firefighters were able to contain a forest fire in the southern portion of the parish. Initial reports indicate that the high winds helped the fire spread more than two miles. Firefighters say no structures have been damaged because of that fire. Now those same high winds were also the source of multiple power outages happening in East Texas. You could see on the screen that we did also have a few right here in the Arklatex. Um, the numbers have declined over the course of the day, so that's a good thing. But over the course of the day, as we said, we saw quite a few power outages in that East Texas region. Now tomorrow marks day one of Black Maternal Health Week, a week to bring awareness and improve black maternal health. Now tonight we hear from some professionals in the industry on the importance of this week. Crystal Taylor is a mother to Dwayne and Lillian Taylor. But when it came to the medical staff, Taylor describes her first pregnancy journey as a fight. I would repeatedly say, I just, I don't want to be, I want to just let things happen naturally. And he would just fight with me, fight with me to the point where the doctor told me, I'm going to keep asking you, do you want to be induced until you give in? Taylor quickly learned she had to advocate for herself. I was successful in having a natural unmedicated birth, which was something shocking, which it shouldn't be. From then, I just kind of hit the boots running. Now she's not only a mom, but she helps other women before, during, and after giving birth to their children. I'm just passionate about, like, you know, I want to help support people in any way they need. That's why Taylor is a part of the Collective Impact Project, an initiative to help reduce the rate of prematurity and infant mortality. If we improve the lives of black mothers in this community, we know that we'll improve the lives of all mothers in this community. According to the CDC, black women are three times more likely to die from a pregnancy related cause when compared to white women. It's real. It's happening in the day to day and there are things that we can do about it. The first way the project plans to address this issue, education. We've got several events. Uh, one of the most exciting events, I think, is going down to the state capitol. Thursday night, uh, we're going to be doing a movie viewing of the documentary Chocolate Milk. And then on Saturday at Shreveport Birth Center, we are having a health fair. Coleman says a healthy life starts the moment you're brought into this world. You don't have to be uh, having a child right now mm -hmm. uh, for this to be important. Some of you might know Tim Tebow from the football field, but the retired NFL player has other hobbies, one of those being a strong believer in his Christian faith. And today he preached a sermon at Cypress Baptist Church in Benton earlier this morning. Hundreds of members came out to hear him speak, but only a select few were able to meet him in person. Well, coming up right after this break, we'll talk about the severe weather threat, not just for Monday, but also throughout the work week. We'll talk about impact and timing after this break. And coming up, how one Shreveport mom is helping local kids in memory of her own. We'll have that story when we come back. 